Hi, my name is Matt Baustrud, a PhD researcher looking at ways we can improve our care of vulnerable babies and one of the founders of Resus Right, where we're building technology to ensure every baby gets the best start to life. We've developed the Resus Right Juno Monitor to increase the effectiveness of neonatal resuscitation training by providing feedback on resuscitation technique and effective volume delivery. Mass leak has been demonstrated to be a common problem in neonatal resuscitation and widely variable, even amongst experienced resuscitators. Studies have shown that the most resuscitators are unaware of the extent of their mass leak, which makes it impossible to address and fix. Substantial unrecognised mass leak has the potential to interfere with resuscitation by reducing tidal volumes delivered to the infant. It also can increase the variability of tidal volumes, which can lead to excessively large breaths with the potential to injure the delicate newborn lungs. The Juno provides intuitive objective feedback so that clinicians can adjust and perfect their technique. A large study across 13 Australian hospitals demonstrated that when clinicians have access to a monitor and are aware of how much mass leak they have, they deliver more effective ventilation at the end of the session. The Juno Monitor enables trainees to deliberately practice and improve their technique with immediate feedback. The Juno sits above the face mask, so it doesn't distract from the infant, whilst not obstructing the view of the infant's chest. When a breath is delivered, it indicates the amount of mask leak through a simple traffic light system. Green corresponds to a good mask seal or minimal leak, while red corresponds to high leak and orange indicates some leak. Expiratory tidal volume and respiratory rate are indicated down the bottom. To assist clinicians with identifying the correct volume of air to deliver to infants of various sizes, tidal volume measurements are translated into an approximate infant size. If I deliver around 20 mils of air to the mannequin, then this is approximately appropriate for an infant of three to four kilograms assuming an appropriate tidal volume range of six mils per kilogram. If I only deliver eight mils of air to the mannequin, then this is approximately appropriate for an infant of one to two kilograms. This is particularly useful for seeing the effect of adjusting the pip and peep on tidal volumes, as well as seeing the effect of different squeeze sizes on the self-inflating bag. With the Juno, it is immediately obvious how different techniques impact the effectiveness of resuscitation. For instance, incorrect face mask selection introduces a big leak into the system. When you select the right face mask size, you can completely get rid of the leak. Another example is you can immediately see that by excessively squeezing the self-inflating bag, we can substantially overventilate the infant. The Juno is compatible with any TP3 resuscitator or self-inflating bag system. It can be used either in training mode, where it provides breath-to-breath -breath feedback, or skills assessment mode, where it just records the data without providing immediate feedback to enable educators to objectively assess the effectiveness of resuscitation at the end of the training session. It enables clinicians to train more effectively, to practice skills regularly, and for objective assessment of skills during a training session so that every clinician can ensure that their manual ventilation skills are ready for a resuscitation whenever it might occur. Please get in touch if you'd like to know more about the system or would like to see if we can assist with your training program.